good day um Dorothy Lenton and fellow classmates my name is Andrea Rowe just here to share with you my research paper which was based on sexism in the Caribbean um, with a subtopic with a subtopic of fighting the stigma of patriarchy in the Caribbean okay so based I guess it's somewhat obvious that in the Caribbean um, women are seen as inferior to men and men are seen as superior to women and this is all due to the patriarchal system that is within the Caribbean society um, it can be seen through the treatment that women receive in the workplaces, the treatment that women receive in households, what the treatment that women receive in learning environments. So I'm first going to discuss the treatment that women receive in the workplaces. So in the workplace, women are just seen as unreliable, I guess, uncapable, and that's probably why the men are the men are mostly promoted and the females are not why is that so because of the patriarchal system they want to keep women down they want to keep them down so if that if that has to be done by not promoting any women in a workplace or by just overlooking their hard work and always promoting men then that's what will happen because there is a patriarchal system here in the Caribbean so even in the workplace for example if a woman were to be sexually harassed by a male worker who's in a high position if she were to speak out about that experience I am sure that it, it won't end good on her behalf because we have a patriarchal system i'm telling you like if she goes to the police and she tells them they're going to first of all see her as a target they're going to probably try and sexually harass her they're not going to really take the take it seriously especially if they hear the position that the, the male offender holds within that workplace and that's it's quite unfortunate so but however if it was probably a female who sexually harassed a male that would probably be taken seriously but in terms of the man in a high position taking advantage of a woman who works for him so yeah, that's that's basically and how the treatment of women are is in the workplace due to the patriarchal system in the Caribbean. So when it comes to the treatment that women women in the Caribbean receive, um, firstly, the role that they are seen to play inside the household is to be, um, you know, to do chores, to cook, and to be. Um, to reproduce that's the role that Caribbean women are seen to do um, so even if according to research in this article that I use within my research paper if a woman has a house if that's her house right whether she buy it or inherit it and she has a male figure in the house according to an article that I read he is actually the head of the household, not her. Despite whether she has an income, despite whether the house is hers, the male is the head of the household. Now, I totally disagree with that. I totally disagree with that. And that's because, you know, it's, it's, it's rightfully, it's right for the female to be seen as the head of the household if it's her house and if she has her own income especially but due to the patriarchal system that is here in the Caribbean that 
that's somewhat facts due to that be, be based on that article that I read so to me that's, that's incorrect it's, it's totally degrading it's totally oppressing on behalf of females because we deserve that respect if we if I went and I saved my money and I bought myself a house how is it that if I have a male in the household whether he's my husband and there's another thing it, the male figure don't have to be a husband it could be a, it could be a brother it could be an uncle it can be any male and once a male isn't living in the household along with the female he's seen as he is seen as the head of the household based on the patriarchal system according to the article that I read it's, it's just it's, it's a defiance of human rights overall like it's just not right so when it comes down to the experience and the treatment that women in the Caribbean receive in the learning environment, um, based on an article that I read, the textbooks that are used for their literature classes or their reading comprehension classes, um, it contain it has contents that portrays females as inferior and it portrays men as more brave, more adventurous, more intelligent, um, which would be overall superior. And I did not realize that at a young age, they were actually trying to poison our minds because when I was back in high school, um, when I was back in high school, um, I'd see a walk up. In 20, 2016, I was about 15, 16 years old, we had these literature textbooks that had these realistic, well, realistic because, well, I'll explain, but they were realistic, they were just like, like adult situations that actually occur, and within these stories, most of the times in those stories, the female would always be the one to get hurt or to be the one suffering at the end of the story. And the male, most of the times, would have been the one to leave with a happy ending. And as a young girl, younger girl, I was so bothered by that. I couldn't understand why would they give us these textbooks that made our future seems so hopeless as females like those textbooks the one was an um, perspective from outer windows outer window un, uh, outer windows and the second textbook was an evening in Gonima by Patricia Clinton and some of those stories are very disturbing and quite traumatizing um, there was this one where this young girl had gotten pregnant for this guy. This was in Belize, um, in the story. Um, she had gotten pregnant for this guy. She was a smart, intelligent, young girl who had a bright future because of the um, success, success that she had um, in her, her academics. And she lost to just about every opportunity she had to go further when she got pregnant and the guy that she got pregnant with who prior to the pregnancy she had a very long and meaningful relationship with had left her she went insane the story ended with her in an asylum pretending to study pretending that she actually had a future now when she didn't and i think i think with that story too she she Either she aborted or she killed the baby herself. And that was so traumatizing. I don't know why they would present content like that to young students. And But it's a part of the patriarchal system. They want to keep us down. They want us to believe that men are superior and females are inferior to men. Um... And that right there, that, that negatively impacts the experience, the educational experience that young women have. Because as an ed as a as a education student, I can tell you that if you present students with information that is 
unpleasing or or it makes them uncomfortable, they're gonna become they're gonna become unreceptive in that class. And if that student becomes unreceptive, you cannot teach an unreceptive student and an unreceptive student cannot learn. And so the males are probably extra receptive because they like, you know, they like the fact that, okay, we as men, we winning and the women losing. So that's, that's unfair treatment to me. And it, all it does is it maintains the patriarchal system here in the Caribbean. Um, sorry, I, because I've, I'm just realizing this, it's kind of heavy. It's heavy honestly but um, when it comes down to the treatment of women overall you know they're just in the Caribbean it's I've read an article that you know women actually make up the largest percentage of unemployed unemployment they take up the largest percentage of the unemployment here in the Caribbean and it starts right from the learning experiences that they encounter um, high school and in primary school, which is negatively impacted due to, you know, which was previously mentioned. But I I just believe that it should, it should come to an end because it's, it's a complete defiance in human rights. Women as humans have rights. And especially in the Caribbean, you know, they're just, if the Caribbean society wants to see its best form, they need to get rid of this patriarchal system. Because even then, based on an article, I don't know, based on research that I did, information that I found in an article, women in the Caribbean have described Caribbean men as physically violent, mentally cruel, Un unloyal, disloyal, financially irresponsible, and irresponsible when it comes down to taking care of their own children. So why is it that women should be forced to cling on to men for financial and social stability? That, and like I said, it's a complete defiance of human rights, and it should come to an end because the Caribbean society cannot progress like that. And I don't believe that women should go through all that suffering. They shouldn't have to have to depend on men. You know, and that's, that's a sad thing that is probably not considered when it comes down to domestic violence, that women not only cling on to, to their abusive boyfriends or husbands because of love, it's because of the patriarchal system. They want, it has... It has, as, it has a way of just holding women back. They're gonna have to depend. Even when it comes like to the workplace, you know, women are less promoted, which means they're less likely to have an increase in income, depending on their career field. But it's the oppression of women through the patriarchal system. It's just, it just has to come to an end. And if it doesn't, the world will continue. Well, the Caribbean will continue to not progress as it should. It's progressing, but not as much as it should. And it would be so much better if we had women in high places rather than men. Because now they're, they're not just making these decisions um, based on what's best. They're making, sometimes they're making decisions because of, these egotistical ways that they have that their men are superior, they can make these moves and people have to follow. So it's just it's just not right, you know, like women are supposed to be valued and respected and appreciated for their capabilities, you know. We as women we, we birth children and alone carrying a child for nine months. Sometimes we work straight up to the last the last trimester obtaining our own income and not only do we sometimes um, carry these babies along with obtaining our own income sometimes we raise these babies all by ourselves 
and men they don't they do not carry children so why is it that women are inferior to men Hold on, what's this?